nine women, one man, and one toddler, all dumped in a quarter mile stretch of Ocean Parkway near Gilgo Beach. All of them about 500 feet apart. Why? Why all clustered there? Why? It's about a 30 minute drive to the suspect, Rex Hureman's home. But, but again, why there? Alex Capriello decided to take a really close look at just what that location meant to Rex Hureman from his home and from the point across the bay where he might actually be able to see all those bodies and certainly see the police that respond to collect them. Here's uh, Alex Capriello's report. Here on the corner of Michigan and First Avenue in Massapequa Park, New York, this is the main scene where we've seen all the attention over the past few days due to these Gilgo Beach murders. If you take a look there in the back, that red house there, that is Rex Hureman's childhood home. Police have been tearing through it, both inside and underneath, looking for any evidence that could connect Rex Hureman to the Gilgo Beach murders. About 10 minutes that way is Rex Hureman's Massapequa Park home. Where I'm currently standing is South Oyster Bay. And if you actually look all the way across the water, you can see Gilgo Beach. The point I'm trying to make is that if Rex Hureman is the alleged killer that police believe he is, it really would not take that much effort at all for him to bring a pair of binoculars here, look across the water, and see that exact area the bodies were dumped. Now we are on the other side of the water. This is Gilgo Beach, not far from where three of those bodies were found. I want you to look at just how high this brush is. Much of it going even above my head. It's entirely possible to dump a body out here and not have it be found for days, weeks, months, or even years. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.